What is roommate central? Mm, good question. That is when you and your mate, not your roommate, not your friend, not your buddy, not your pal, you and your mate, your the person with whom you are romantically entangled, mm -hmm. the person with which you are building this here family unit, I'm Possibly. gonna say that wrong. Possibly. Yeah. The person with which you have decided to spend the rest of your life in a romantic situation starts to become your roommate. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to start the video, man. That's all I got to do. I just say and I smile. Welcome to the JNO show. Where we talk about things that we were never told. I'm J. And I'm O. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How you doing? If you guys are new to our channel, please, please. make sure that you like, comment, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. notifications. And uh, you'll find that down below near the uh, comment section, the subscribe button. Or you'll see it over in one of these two corners. Somewhere. You'll see a button there. That you see my finger, you gonna see button. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere on this line, <laughs> you will see. You will find it. You will find it somewhere on that line. If you search, if you, you will find it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Today we are talking about roommate syndrome. Mm. You know what that is, man? Did you know what that is, man? Twilight Zone. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, no. When I do it, it's okay, but when she do it with me, it turns weird. It turns weird. That's how I feel in my spirit. I feel it. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Okay. Okay. Um, roommate syndrome. I'm talking about in relationships. What mm -hmm. is room? What is roommate syndrome? Mm, good question. That is when you and your mate, not your roommate, not your friend, not your buddy, not your pal, you and your mate, your the person with whom you are romantically entangled. Mm -hmm. The person with which you are building this here family unit, I'm Possibly. gonna say that wrong. Possibly. Yeah. The person with which you have decided to spend the rest of your life in a romantic situation starts to become your roommate. Mm -hmm. You ain't romantic no more. You just, mm -hmm. you just sharing a house or an apartment. Mm -hmm. And y'all just doing life together and y'all just friends. That's, that's roommate syndrome. Yes. And, and these are a couple of things that we have to avoid roommate syndrome. Yes, because these are one of the things that nobody talks to you about. Yeah, they don't tell you about this part. Before you get married. They sort of do, but they don't. What they sort of do. They say, they say, you know, don't don't let the romance come out your marriage now. That ain't no good. That's basically what we talking about. It's yeah. that. They sort of tell you. They say that, but then they don't tell you how. Yeah. They don't tell you how normally. And they don't tell you why. Yes. <laughs> they don't tell you what that leads to. Yes. Yes. That yeah. Just to let y'all know, you let roommate syndrome go too long. Too long, it, unless you're with a very, very passive person. Now there are passive people that will just sit there and endure the torture, stay there with you, miserable mm. until the day they die. Mm. There are folk who are okay with that for some godforsaken reason. We don't want that for your life. We don't want that for your we life. Don't want that for your life. So we're gonna try to give you a couple of useful tips. Yes. Useful tips. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. got one. Tip number one. Yeah. What you got? You want to start off? Want me to start off? You can start. Uh, off. Hmm. Don't stop having sex. Wow. The woman said that one. That's number one. She said that one. Yes. You know what? Uh. Why do we say that? Do you want to expound on? You want me to expound on it? I'll let you go ahead and take. Okay. The I'll start a little bit on that. I'll start <laughs> a little bit on that. All right. So. Us men, we got needs. <laughs> so that's, that's, for real. We ain't getting some physical time with our wives. It's gonna be a lot of trouble in paradise, man. Now I'm talking about, I'm talking about when it's reasonable now. I'm not, bruh. If your wife got a medical condition, bruh, I'm not talking about you, <laughs> bruh. She physically can't do it or it's painful for her. Or, you know, just y'all just got issues. That's the whole different thing. I don't even know if we're going to have it. Normally, we'd be like, we're going to do that video later. I don't even know if we're doing that video, <laughs> to be honest with you. Just get creative. Yes. Bottom line. Figure things out. Yes. But you have to, like, 
Real talk, you got you you have to figure out a way to remain physical with each other. Now there are things that have to be done on both sides to to keep that in there. But I'm telling you, when you find that you've gone and it's a month and y'all haven't done it and there's no reason that y'all haven't done it, y'all ain't busy. <laughs> y'all ain't too busy. Um and even if you're too busy, you gotta figure it out. I'm be honest with you. You can't just be doing that. Um Truth. And that's for both men and women. Mm -hmm. One of the things about that is when you do stuff like that, it releases certain chemicals within your body that uh, promote attachment. Mm -hmm. Biologically, <laughs> there are things that are released that promote attachment, romantic attachment to the person with which you are having sex, which is why the old folk used to say, don't just be going around sleeping mm -hmm. with everybody. Because you attaching yourself to a whole bunch of different people. People just be like, around oh. with pieces of you. And you be saying, oh, I'm catching feelings. I wasn't supposed to be catching feelings. Jay-Z even had a song talking about he was catching feelings for a girl that he was only supposed to be doing the thing with. And he, <laughs> I had to come to myself and realize, brother, it was biological, you're human. <laughs> it's supposed to happen that way. That's what it was designed for. It's designed to you ain't for to become one. yes. So so <laughs> it's supposed to be that way now. Yes. So in marriage, you need to take advantage of these things that we know and use them to your advantage. Part mm -hmm. of keeping your relationship together, you want to make sure that you continue to do that and figure out a schedule between the two of you. Because usually there will be some discord as to how often this thing should happen. Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest about it, guys. 80, 90 percent. That's right. I'm just going to make up statistics. 80, 90 percent of the time. 80, y'all know that it's probably up around where I'm saying 80, 90 percent of the time. We as guys want it more often than women. Now, the new age of women is different. Hmm. It's a whole different statistic nowadays because <laughs> y'all are wilding. But it's okay, though. It's all right. It's 100% okay. Whatever works for you and your spouse. Mm -hmm. Y'all might be a little bit more active and, you know, she might be like, uh, I'm going to need three days a week minimum. And, you you know, you as a guy might be like, well, I need five. Well, meet in the middle and do four. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it may be, you know, especially those in the older generations, she might be okay once or twice a month. <laughs> and you might need it four times a week. Figure <laughs> how y'all gonna fix that situation and try to keep on schedule. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some other things that have to happen to make that schedule happen. But that is of the utmost importance to y'all to figure out a schedule where both of you will be reasonably compensated. Mm -hmm. And try your best to stick to it. There will always be things that will throw it off. You have to fight it with all your power. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all I got for you on that one. Yeah. Because it's much. different for everybody. Um, besides the the hormones that are released in your brain, what else is it? Um, well, it's just the, the actual act of connecting. Mm -hmm. Like when you are literally embarking together. <laughs> together. on that act. When you come together, you're literally coming together. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. You can't. There's... There's no way for you to be closer to another human being. She don't even realize what she just said, but it's all right. Well, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Continue with your thoughts. Okay. Um, <laughs> She'll get when she edits. She's gonna get it. Go ahead. Um, but yeah, there, there's just part of you guys becoming one. Mm -hmm. I mean, that in of in it of itself creates a connection between you two, and mm -hmm. you want to try to keep that connection as strong as possible and keep it as long as possible, no matter what the situation is. Life happens, things happen. If you have children, sometimes it can be real tricky. You know, you got to get creative. Mm -hmm. um, but the point is, you just don't want to let it die. And like Jermaine said, if you come to a realization where it's been a long period of time where you guys haven't connected and there's no particular reason like someone isn't sick someone has health issues and things of that nature then you need to do an evaluation you need to do a relationship checkup and find out what's going on and what prevented you from being intimate with one another mm -hmm. and besides the actual act of intercourse you can still create intimacy but we're talking specifically about intercourse i mm -hmm. think that that's something that is essential and that people need to understand that like jay said there is a bi biological 
thing that transpires between two people mm -hmm. when they actually engage in intercourse. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important as a married couple. We speaking specifically about married couple. Mm -hmm. We ain't talking about <laughs> everything else. We ain't talking about everything. All There's of a lot of other things. We ain't talking about the married people. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's be clear. Mm -hmm. We talking about y'all. Mm -hmm. Everybody else. You, Mm. But the married people, this is what we talking about. Because mm -hmm. if you want to keep it together, mm -hmm. these are some of the things that you have to make sure you keep intact. Yes, I know, ladies, I know. Mm. Sometimes we just don't really mm -hmm. be in the mood. Mm -hmm. Because like I mentioned in one of my prior videos, the way how men and women think, um, we think differently. For us, there's a lot more psychologically that has to go on for us to be in the mood sometimes to be able to, you know, please our husbands but we got to figure it out <laughs> and likewise same thing with the men like if you want us to be involved <laughs> okay you have to figure out a way to be able to to stimulate us mentally in order for us to actually want to be intimate it goes both ways and now your new couples are different though now y'all different yeah because now the women just be like the women just be like no 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 oh, no, you're talking about what, no i'm not even okay so yes when you're honeymoon stage it is a little bit easier because you're yeah. like we married we got freedom we got this place we live in together we can do whatever we want to be allowed as we want to we got to take full advantage we're not yeah. talking about that no. we talking um, about after you you cross no but i was just saying you younger couples sometimes. nowadays <laughs> like the women be like Psh, i need it at least three times just on the strength of I need to <laughs> not romanticize it or nothing like that. You know, y'all fortunate <laughs> if that's the situation that you fall into where both people just physically need that connection right now. Like you're fortunate. We talking about the people, you know, there has to be a way to keep a minimum and, and it does feed into your relationship. That does have to happen for a lot of people who think that it doesn't because, you know, our love is enough. And, okay. <laughs> Holla at me 20 years deep, bro. That's all I got to say. You saying that at year five, year two, year one, or before you get married means nothing to me. Holla at me 20 years deep. Because me and her are going on 20 years together close. We just 15 years married. Mm -hmm. We've been together a long time, bro. Yeah. Didn't. <laughs> you, you can talk to me about the love is enough all you want to there's a whole lot more than love that has to go into a marriage oh good misconception see sometimes i just talk myself into a decent point mm, that's true there's well, a whole lot more than just love that's not for this video yeah, but there's a lot that. that has to go into marriage mm -hmm. uh, but anyway yeah. next next <laughs> um make time for each other yes make time for each other so making time is key and it can be very challenging, mm -hmm. especially when you have little ones yes. in the picture because there's only 24 hours in a day, okay? If po both parents are working, that takes eight hours just for work. We're not talking about the time it took to get ready. We're not talking about the time it took to commute to work, even though right now mm -hmm. most people are not commuting to work. Mm -hmm. But still, you know what I'm saying? All of that, there's only but so many hours in a day. So you have to make time because life gets hectic things have to happen especially if you have small children they can't fend for themselves so you have to be realistic sometimes it just not gonna happen but if you realize that that's becoming a trend then you need to push pause and then you need to sit down and figure some things out like okay well even if you got to schedule it that might not be the you know the most desirable romantic. thing or mm -hmm. the most romantic thing but in order for you to keep a healthy marriage and to stay out of the roommate zone this is essential yes essential <laughs> essential okay all right i just want to make sure you guys heard me i'm clear okay it's essential right. okay next um, yeah <laughs> so um so yes to make time for each other which will make the first point we were saying don't stop having intimacy with each other mm -hmm. uh Making time for each other will help to make sure that you continue to be intimate with each other physically. Right. So that helps. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have, um, how do you keep the romance alive after you have the kids? First is mindset. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not easy. Yes, no. Because we, we still working on it. Yes. Yes. Don't don't it's get it easy. twisted. We ain't yeah. got it all figured out. No, not at all. So if you got some tips, let us know. Yeah, yeah, okay. you can drop that. Yeah, <laughs> comments. Yeah, leave some comments. Let us know. We, we, we still working on it. We need that in our lives. Okay. Um, yeah. Um uh, but some things that we, we have realized is that um sacrifice balance. Your life is gonna have balance. You can't be all about the kids 
when if you're in a relationship with the person that you had the kids with if you're in a relationship with somebody else you didn't have the kids with <laughs> you can't be all about the kids i'm sorry i know it sucks it's hard to hear breaks your little heart they're so cute and adorable <laughs> they're so helpless I, I understand all of that you can't be all about the kids if you are in a relationship with somebody not all the time Again, you can't be all about the kids. It, it, there has to be a balance. Mm -hmm. You have to find a way to schedule time to be together mm -hmm. and to be, and not just be together in Netflix. Yeah. Unless you're Netflix and chilling, which is not really Netflix. You're not really, you get it. So you, you can't, whatever your thing is together that gets you in that certain place, you have to make sure that you engage in that thing. You have to give your top self time to engage in that thing. And the kids might just have to entertain themselves for a little while. They might have to put the baby to sleep. Mm -hmm. or like whatever when they first first come out it's going to be super hard yes because babies require a lot of attention and they don't care nothing about scheduling day or night and there's well maybe we'll talk about what we did and it's going to be hard y'all mm -hmm. what we did to get the kids sleeping on a nightly schedule to give us like a six hours of sleep and stuff like that um there are ways to figure it out you know um I, as much as i hate to say it you know you might have to figure out quickies and stuff like that in the beginning i'm talking about like when they're like like when newborns little, and mm -hmm. stuff like that you just got to do whatever you can to not become roommates yeah um but yeah um uh making time is number one mm -hmm. and that starts it like you have to make some time which mm -hmm. is what we already said and then you have to figure out ways to do that like in a, another video we talked about uh no it, okay at some point, I feel like we talked about, but maybe we didn't even put that video out yet, where you, you basically, um, when you're thinking about having kids, you have to think about things like a support system. Yes. And I don't know if we put that video out yet. We did. Oh, uh, we did? I'll put the link in the description box. Okay. So, you, like, you're thinking about having kids, and one of the things you have to think about is having a support system. And this is where that support system comes in. Like, it's going to be very hard to deal with trying to make time for each other and you don't have a support system somebody who could possibly watch your kids from time to time for mm -hmm. hours at a time um and support system can be any, it could be friends that you trust it can be your um you know family members that you trust you know your mom and dad their grandparents rather things of that nature um that's hard because you got to filter that out just like you got to filter who you make your godparents and stuff like that mm -hmm. um and, and it's hard to, you know it got to be people you trust and you guys also have to be aware of the people that are around the people you trust right so there's a lot that you have to check out into and you just got to do due diligence due diligence i mean you're in the situation with uh your kids and there are just certain jobs that you have to do you have to make time for each other mm -hmm. you have to have to have to have to you cannot make it all about the kids. That is a great way to head to the big D. Mm -hmm. yes. Just be honest with you, flat mm -hmm. out. Um, so yeah, find, find a way to make time to do the romance. And romance for you could be anything. So that's why I'm not giving you anything specific to do. That's why I'm not like, yo, take her out to dinner. And this. Like some women probably don't care about you taking them out to dinner. Well, we could still do certain things. Like I'm pretty sure you guys heard like have a date night. Mm -hmm. What's your date night? What it is is up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. Whatever you know, that is. Well, no. Um, specifically, what your date like night is is up to your wife or girlfriend, guys. Um, I'm gonna be real specific about that. It's not really up to you, guy. <laughs> it's up to her. It's up to her. True. At least 90, 95 percent of the time, it's yeah. up to her. Um, one of the things I would say is that I think doing some of the things that you did when you first started dating would be a good idea to sort of kind of help rekindle or just kind of put you back into the frame of mind as to what sparked your interest about your spouse in general i know we talk Ooh, i could piggyback off of that okay. you know one thing that i did that actually worked for like a short period of time um it might be different things that work at different times okay. like never stop never stop investing time in your relationship right um, I actually started watching, here's a kicker. I started watching young YouTubers who were fresh in their relationships this and watching them go through certain things like, you know, rekindling the relationship with my girl that I lost and whatever, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. It'll put you in a mindset and you'll start remembering what it was like when you first were with your wife or husband. I mean, we have a lot of resources now that we didn't have before. Mm -hmm. And YouTube is one of them. You can look up almost anything. Yes. And they will have a video on it. <laughs> and 
watching other couples when they're young and in love and and really enjoying that uh the 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 infatuation stage will put you in a in a mental space of dang i remember it was like when i met you babe mm -hmm. like Feminist. yeah it'll <laughs> it'll actually help like it's weird but it does that's that's just a little tip that's mm -hmm. not like a you have to do this but that's just a little tip um fine there are little other things that can put you in a mental space to sort of remember the romantic side of your relationship any of those help even if it's being around a certain couple every time i'm around them i feel like you know i'm like hey y'all all hugged up together i'm gonna be we gonna be hugged up together too <laughs> you know what i'm saying that might help you like you know whatever it is you know don't be afraid to try and look at new things right to help you remember what you had right as long as when y'all got together it wasn't like well i was pregnant now you got the marriage as long as that's not what happened because if that happened then there's, there's a whole that's a whole nother story there's a whole nother thing so yeah so we talked about a couple different things mm -hmm. one to avoid the roommate syndrome, you want to make sure that you don't stop having sex. Yes. Two, you want to make time for each other. Mm -hmm. And three, you want to keep the romance alive. Yeah. And those are just a couple of quick tips that we felt as though we wanted to share with you guys um, just to make sure that you help keep you out of that roommate zone. Don't want to go in the roommate zone with your spouse. So, camera about that. So, what we going to do? We're going to close the video. We're going to close the video. <laughs> it's all right. You got to close the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Join the family. Mm -hmm. And that's about all we got. You know what I'm saying? Happy relationship. Happy marriage. Happy life. Live. Love. Stuff. Live I don't prosperous. know. Yes. Live long and prosper. I would go like this. I'm not even a Trekkie, but I know that. <laughs> I know that. Okay. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs> Spat. Hey, I was supposed to do the hand to the oh. camera. I always do the hand to the camera. Now she t she's stealing my thunder. She's stealing my thunder. I'm not going to take this no more. Stop playing. <laughs>